Need some coins or MT for that God Squad you've always wanted? For the fastest and cheapest coins anywhere, make sure to check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. We have Gridiron Guardians Part 2 to go over. We have the reveals, which Gridiron Guardians Part 2 does come out tomorrow. We'll see exactly at what time. I have a feeling it might end up being delayed, but we will see about that. And then I have some Team Diamond news. I do want to give a shout out to Cheese Boys for being a part of the Nota Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Turn the notification bell on and comment down below. Nota Gang. Also, I do just want to say for my fellow Floridians, hopefully you guys are staying safe during this hurricane. And that is something that I do want to talk about here for a moment because obviously uh, I might end up being affected by this. It's not going to be anything too serious for me, but I just want to let you guys know that potentially i may end up losing power from the hurricane so if i do obviously uploads may be a little bit scarce here uh, i will let you guys know that i do have a guess who ready for uh later today maybe or tomorrow i'm probably gonna hold off on uploading it until tomorrow it is a guess who versus dom for those guys that really like that series but just to make sure that i have a video for you guys tomorrow in case my power does go out today and isn't up by tomorrow i'm probably gonna save that so i at least have a video for you but really don't worry about me there are a lot of people in florida who are getting it a lot worse than me so prayers out to them and if i do still have power today then i probably will be running some drafts over on twitter uh, for this weekend's underdog fantasy nfl game so if you guys want to check out underdog fantasy you can use code zerk to match first deposit up to 100 dollars follow me over on twitter for my picks and let's get into this. So an update here that Madden actually tweeted out last night from Madden NFL Direct. As our teams are preparing for Hurricane Ian, we have decided to push back the release of Team Diamonds and as well cancel this Thursday's Good Morning Madden. So they did, of course, have the stream this morning going over the Granite Guardians Part 2 and all their content is still targeted for this week. So Legends are still good to go. Granite Guardians still good to go. Uh, I do not know if that means maybe Granite Guardians to be you know delayed tomorrow as i said but we will see all right so let's get into the cards that we have coming out tomorrow now i do want to say though there is another player being revealed tonight at 7 p.m eastern time however i think tj accidentally showed like one slide during the stream he wasn't supposed to for about half a second and we already know who the player is. But getting into these cards, you guys can see we do have some low elites right here. And I gotta say, Gridiron Guardians Part 2 looks really good. I've seen some people complaining about one thing we'll get into. But here's an 83 overall uh, for the Steelers. We also have 83 overall EJ Speed with 83 Speed, 85 Excel. Uh, Jerry Tillery. 80 play rec, 84 power move, 74 block shed. Player doesn't matter much on him. Jonu Smith, 85 speed, 81 catch in traffic. Uh, not very good run block or route running, but decent speed. Von Bell, 86 overall, 87 speed, 80 excel, 87 zone, 83 hit power. We have Dean Lowry with 85 strength, 87 block shed, 88 power move. We have Morgan Moses with 88 pass block, 86 run block, uh, and 86 Dalton Schultz, which would have been a little bit better. Honestly, should have been a lot better. 82 speed, 88 short route running, 85 catching traffic. Now we get into some of the new 88 overalls. Now, one thing I actually want to point out specifically about this Hassan Reddick, uh, because I actually like this card quite a bit. 86 speed, 89 excel, 89 finesse move. This could potentially be a pretty good budget pass rusher. He does get 2 AP under pressure. I, I wrote that down so I could remember that. But uh, Hassan Reddick here looks pretty good. Now, you'll notice, though, the S on him. This is a sidekick, and I'll get into what happens if you collect all four of these sidekicks here in a moment. Uh, we also have Patrick Peterson, 89 speed, 88 excel, 90 man, 84 zone, and 86 press. Love the Pat Pete. Uh, is it like a meta card? I wouldn't say yes, because the press isn't really crazy, and also the zone isn't very good, but the man and the speed... That's pretty solid. So, hey, you can definitely use Patrick Peterson. Andrus Pete here, 87 strength, 88 pass block, 86 run block on him. Uh, and then finally, we have Antonio Gibson with 87 speed, 90 excel, 88 change direction, 80 truck, and 85 break tackle. Now, if you guys go ahead and pick up all four of these cards, every 79 to 86 overall Gridiron Guardian player that you have in your lineup pretty much gets a plus one to everything. Speed, excel, everything. So, kind of cool. At the same time, like, you could justify just picking up all these cards because they are actually 
to be honest, kind of all usable. But, I mean, boosting 86 overalls at the max there, those cards aren't crazy. Now, this is something, though, that I saw some people kind of complaining about because they don't want to see the out-of-position cards this early in the game. Which, I mean, I guess I can understand, but to me, I kind of like it. Like, it's kind of cool. You know, it's nothing crazy. Like, they could have gone with other players that need upgrades here to give potential upgrades to. But essentially what happens is, you know, the eight overall mentors that we had with the uh, release one, they all got these out of position cards. There's no, like, extra boost or anything. They're just getting these cards here. So, you let me know down below. Do you like getting these out of position cards because they're kind of cool? Or do you not like it? I, I see there's a lot of people that for some reason don't like it. I'm curious about your reasoning there because personally, I just don't really mind it. Sauce Gardner, though, he is 6'3", 88 speed, 90 catching traffic, 90 deep route running. This is actually a solid card. Like, this is actually a solid card. So, Sauce Gardner Johnson right there, definitely solid. We also have Tremaine Edmonds tight end. Uh, if you guys run the ball and you want a run blocking tight end, here you go. 88 run block with 86 speed, 77 strength. 85 catching traffic that's also a very very solid card strong safety cordero patterson with 88 speed 87 excel 88 man and 90 zone doesn't have the hit power but again i feel like these cards are pretty fun right these are some fun cards right here cordero patterson and the final one is cornerback justin fields 88 speed 90 zone 90 press and 87 man so you guys let me know down below what you think about all these cards but I don't really see an issue with it, but now getting into the Masters and the LTDs. And again, there's one card that was actually not supposed to be revealed, but I think TJ did it on accident, and uh, we kind of know the offensive here already is. But we are getting Nick Bosa. 88 speed, 89 excel, 93 block shed, and 92 finesse move. Yeah, this card's crazy. Uh, and the thing is, we have Cameron Wake, who just came out, what, last weekend? We just got a new right end last night. I cannot remember who the team of the week right end is off the top of my mind for some reason. My brain is scrambling. Cannot remember who it was. Dwight Freeney is who I was trying to think of. Dwight Freeney is the other right end that we got. But this Bosa card is crazy. The block shed is insane. The finesse move, the speed, and Bosa always plays good. Uh, and then also, guys, we have the LTD, which is DK Metcalf. And look at the route running. 90 short, 91 medium, 92 deep route running. With 91 speed, 88 catch traffic, 92 spec catch. Best wide receiver in the game. I mean, this is insane. So here's the thing that I just want to, you know, kind of reader it with you guys. As good as this content is, right? We are still on hashtag pack strike, okay? Content has never been the issue really this year in terms of how good is the content been. Like, it's always been pretty good content. The cards have always been pretty good. We've gotten some good name players as well. The issue is how expensive they are and how pack odds are and how little rewarding solos and everything are which is why we are on hashtag pack strike and i will continue to be on hashtag pack strike i uh, will let you guys know though there are some re-rolls tomorrow of course of gridiron guardians and dk is already confirmed to be in those re-rolls now we do also have some new solo challenges and at the new field pass in level 16 you do get justin fields cornerback as a bnd uh, we have some solos as well now i will let you know there's a new house rules event which i know this previous one right you literally didn't get anything from doing it anyways the rewards i don't think still haven't pushed out but uh there is a new house rules event i am unsure as to what the rewards actually are because like he started to go over it and then he didn't have the info and then i think he said they were typing to him to give him like a live update but i believe he just accidentally forgot so is what it is there not really a big deal i guess but uh we probably have some free 88s overalls coming from the house rules event and also maybe from the new field pass but all i know of is you get Justin Fields. And also, for like half a second, guys, TJ actually did show a screenshot of the store packs in the game, but quickly zoomed over it. And you guys can see right here, available in the store, right? You notice on the left, that's Nick Bosa. On the right, that's Eric Dickerson. This is a screenshot right from the stream. So, yes, the offensive hero, which will be revealed tonight, guys, should be eric dickerson which he is always just an absolute maniac in the game so that card is going to be very very good uh and that'll be and that will be revealed later tonight at 7 p.m eastern time so as i said uh i may not have another video today i may not have another video throughout the day i will try to post a video tonight when eric dickerson does get revealed but aside from that hope you guys did enjoy the video and if you did make sure you guys drop a like on it hit that sub button down below check out underdog fantasy follow me over on twitter and i might be running some private drafts today if you guys enjoyed this video check these out